Hello and welcome to a Smurd P video and today we are looking at Transformers Beast Wars issue 17 it is the finale so after 17 issues and an annual IDW's Beast War World comes to an end and I really I really wish that they had done this series a long time ago a long time ago um, because it has been a good run I have enjoyed it and um, I'm sorry to see it go. And the worrying thing is, whoever's going to pick up IDW, bear in mind, I, I have no idea who that is, may not want to do Beast Wars and may focus on G1. So we have um, this written by Eric Burnham, who has a series. Art is by Joss Bircham, who has done a majority of the art throughout the whole run. Got letters by Jake M. Wood. And then you've got the the senior stuff there as I put them and then you got the story so far and it is a big panel because there are lots of things to remember now the roll call is let me just try and get this so that it's not glaring but you can pick it up and let me just move Tenger out the way and Blue Ninja Ranger out the way for other reviews that I'm doing so the roll cool is, so we got Maximals, Primal, Nynx, Rat Trap, Rhinox, Dinobot, Cheater, Predacons, Megatron, Tarant, I feel like Tarantula should not be there. Scorponard, Waspinator, Pterosaur, he shouldn't be there because he's like dead. Black Arachnia and Scold, and the Vok, Pekka, Tonra, Tikani, I don't even know if I pronounce it right, and then Children of the Vok. Saberback, Podaclaw, Tigatron, Inferno, and Air Razor. And at least two of these in here do nothing. So we get Rhinox waking up and he has been stunned. And you get him going, by the primes. He says, get the move on. Your life depends on it. And we get this lovely, big, beautiful centerpiece there. And I wish it just had been a whole whole thing there so he says how long have I been out <laughs> not long but tarantulas you know methods are efficient and we get him saying that you know he, he heard tarantulas talking to the Vok and um, he so they got a warning off to Primal to come in you know help um, but there were some reinforcements that came from the other team from all the crass Pods out there, so to speak. So defend yourself, because that's pretty much what's going on. So we get a moment with uh, Tigertron saying, "You invaded our world, etc." So he's still talking like a like a Vark, and he's saying, "This isn't your world, etc." And then it's like, "Well, if you don't, if we don't kill you, the Vark will." And he's like, "Well, I like to see them try, etc." And then you get these guys talking about energy weapons. They're preparing for energy weapons to fight energy monsters. Instead, they've just got normal Transformers that they can fight normally. We also get this moment from Cheater um, sent to, to uh, Black Arachnia. I believe that you can overcome your programming. And it was a bit, it's a bit cheesy, you know. And she's like, ha, don't bet anything. You can't stand to lose on that. So... You know, and maybe this is when Cheetah started fancying her. Who knows? Who knows? We also get um, Wasbonado and Rat Trap talking about these weapons, etc. And this unspace. And Rat Trap says, what I do is I create things that, well, nobody should be able to create because it's just bonkers, etc. And But, you know, what I'm really worried about is the ship taking that for Wasbonado. is like, don't worry about that. I will sort it out. Meanwhile, we got Skull trying to say, oh, we could have been friends like me and Razor Beast who got trashed earlier in the run. Um, but meanwhile, Pterosaur comes in, paralyzes the creature, and she is almost doom and gloom. However, Rhinox comes flying in for the rescue. And he says, usually I prefer not to, to avoid engaging in violence against living sentient beings. But basically, you're not one. <laughs> um... But you can imagine Rhinox, that is saying Rhinox would say, I'd rather smoke I'd rather smell the daisies. You know. That's the sort of thing he was. He wasn't interested in these fights. He didn't like these fights. When he got into them, you just didn't mess with him, etc. 
Meanwhile, you got Nick. So they're all sort of getting their moment, all of them getting one sort of moment within the series, within this finale. You got Nix taking out the whatever it's called, sort of like the Wasbanana duplicate. And then you got Air Razor taking Nix out because she's super fast. I also like the fact that she's got sort of greeny sort of eyes in there. Of course, it didn't help with the sun was lighting up. Uh, meanwhile, we've got this fight between Tiger Tron being probably the biggest spot against Artemis Primal. And he says, and Tiger Tron is trying to get this point across that, you know, they'll let us live, etc. as long as we don't. Have, and then Artemis Primal says, the moment you start interfering with their experiments, you're done to them. They will destroy you. Um, and he says, you know, you can't exist by the whims of another. And then you get um, Megatron coming in and finishing off Tiger Tron, saying such an interesting sen sentiment from an offensive Maximal Overlord. Dare I believe my audio receptors? You know, those sort of things. Then we get Tarantulas, who is basking in the glorious battle. He is enjoying it and soaking it up. And um, Black Arachnia comes flying and saying, you know what? You thought you could escape, etc. You are a saint. Nobody is coming. And then he says, incorrect, and runs off in that good old goofy run that we saw him do a few times in the show. Which is brilliant because the Vark have arrived. And this time, even though they, they are just going to clean out the world and start from scratch in their experiments. Um, and you force us into this decision. And then you get Tiger saying, but we were doing what you asked. Why would you destroy us? And he says, because they're cowards. Um, you know, come face us in evil it turns it off. No. Why would we do that? You know, we could just destroy you from this. They're mounting, which is a blaster. And then we get this beautiful moment where he says, I still say we should have put the device in one of the moons, which is bringing these guys are like, you always want to put one in the moon. It's almost comical. It's brilliant. I enjoyed it a lot. But it also, also in my opinion, devalues the Vark as well. That was a, a sort of worry about how they developed these characters. They have, because they're, they're now sort of villains and not being sinister beings in the background, that they've sort of been devalued just slightly um, and perhaps not so menacing in how they're talking. Um but anyway, they're about to destroy it and take over it. However, one of them gets wiped out. Oh my goodness. There is a ship. It is Axelon. And they have weaponized the transwarp technology. How could they have possibly known that? Um, well, he said, you know what? It's your fault for not spying on the good guys. Because then you would have known. And you know what? Maybe we've lost our minds, etc. It's... You know, it's an heroic moment, and who would have expected it was but then a rat trap to come and rescue? And that's what Beast Wars was. It's the unexpected moments in there. So then they use Axelon to take out the other creatures. Um, so meanwhile, back on Earth, Tigertron and Air Raiders say, you know what? Just stay out of our way, we'll stay out of yours. The truce is over with Megatron, however, until he gets blasted. Oh! <gasps> Nah, he's not dead. He's not destroyed. In fact, Rat Trap just blasts him with unspacing because he is not an energy weapon. He will literally materialize in a few hours. Um, then you get this moment where they're all sort of, well, I want Black Arachnid wants to go trash Tarantulas because of what he did. And then they're debating going back to Cybertron. They could, you know, all go back, etc. And, you know, as always, the, the conversation sort of comes up around, well, not all of us will be free when we go there. We will be tried for our crimes, etc. And that's why Dinobot left in the Beast Wars series. He once upon a time stayed on Earth because of that reason. And they also debated about uh, Megatron. Megatron's still loose and you can't leave him unchecked, etc. So, which makes a whole lot of sense. So they're going to pass and as soon as they're away from each other, the truce is gone um, and Black Arachnia seems to be taking the lead here and I think Scorpion Knock is done for all needs repairs etc I guess uh, Inferno comes over to talk to him. he's new queen because he's all queen 
his royalty is gone, and I think the fuck with that royalty, I can't remember. Um, anyway, so they also talk about getting Darkseid back up and running, and she says, well, there may be some few parts floating around. And then we get this final moment of Megatron doing a diagnostic, rematerializing, talking about uh, the Vark being dead, removing the largest threat to his power. And you have to remember to overwrite his message on the Golden Desk to pres preserve the timeline. Uh, but he has the element of surprise. And the Beast Wars will not end until he is one. No matter what throat fate uh, what fate throws at me sorry yeah uh, i always quite a lot to talk about so the war may continue but for us for now this is the end and a good good send off so we get um on this side you get eric burnham he's in the middle of minnesota and it's probably still cold here uh so what to say tear beastie boy Beastie bot beasties. Hi. As Jim Morrison once sang, this is the end of our elaborate plans. The end. Yes, there were lyrics between those two bits, but just go with me here. Beast Wars was a lot of fun to work on with Tom, David and Riley and Jasmine and Josh and Winston and Sid and Jake and our entire cast of characters. The reality of publishing change some of the plans we had. Yep, we all know that and it fast tracked a lot of their plans. Which is frustrating. Uh, but even so, I think we put together a fun little epic. Even if we did have to cut some of the pure character stories or beats. Want to know what some of those were going to be? I think I can share. Let's do it. First, Rat Trap's love of fruit was going to cause a glitch in the system just when his expertise was needed most. And it would be a race against time to save him. Scorponok was going to find a rival in one of the Unleashed Protoforms, Pods, Quick Strike, whose only goal was to replace him. Rhinox was going to be suspected as a Predacon mole. Black Arachnid was going to take over the Predacons for a little while when Megatron was taken off the board. We at least hinted at that at the end of this issue. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I was going to fight Tooth and Nail to get the original Dinobots, all of them, or at least Grimlock, into the book. I initially thought Wasbonator would head off and join the Children of the Vogue to leave fighting behind after the Vogue's destruction. And yes, I wanted to get some Fusors in as well. We love some Fusors. Well, at least I do. Finally, Josh was all at bringing in a Tripedicus Cancel. Yeah, I felt like that should have been explored more. That would have been great. And the Maximal Elders into the battle with the Vogue as Combiners which we would have needed another 20 pages to pull off. But alas, it's all stuff we had to skip past. These ideas and more are welcome to pop in your personal head can cannons, which is pretty cool. That's so that would have taken maybe run up to like issue 25, maybe? Um, with the, the extra solo issues, perhaps? I feel I feel like this was perhaps the idea that Eric was originally working to. So let me carry on. So by the way, I'm not complaining. I might regret not getting to do all the character stuff, but show me a storyteller that doesn't itch a little. And there's more story to tell with these characters. There's always going to be more story. That's the beautiful part. And when they show up again, their story will continue to unfold in new and different ways. Thanks for opening your hearts to Scold and Nix. Thanks for the enthusiastic letters and tweets and fan art. Above all, thanks for coming along for the ride. Now go forth and maximize. It would have been cool if you said terrorize. Uh, and on this side, we got Maximal Mailbag, and then we got Josh Bircham. Oh, for booting up cold, where to begin, or I guess how to end. I suppose that, first off, I really want to thank the teams at both IDW and Hasbro for letting us do this series. I feel like I've mentioned this before, but Beast Wars was really my G1. I was aware of the original series, 86 movie, and had some toys. But it was when middle school me came across Beast Wars. And in turn, the internet that really put me down the fandom path that would lead me here. I can't express well enough what a trip it's been to be able to revisit and in some ways reinterpret both a story and visual sense. These characters that I grew up with for modern comic book readers, not to mention the honor of bringing new characters, Nix and Skull into the Transformers canon. The immediate rush of love and fan art for these new beasties 
that came our way were so heartwarming. The fans had truly been great. I appreciate so much all your kind messages and fan letters, art, homemade pins, and toy kick bashes. And just meeting you all at conventions to hear about how much all these characters mean to you. Truly, truly, I think you're all so wonderful. Yeah, because it's been like two years. So like everybody, I really wish we had more time to tell some more stories with all these great characters, but I think we all know deep down that it never ends. These characters will all continue to enjoy and are even set to be given some new life with an upcoming movie and of course all the toys. I'm just immensely proud to have been able to contribute to this moment and in these characters' history. Thank you all so much for reading. Yes, uh, Joss Bertram. So great, great ending. We got Maximal Mailbag, which I'm gutted. I absolutely missed that. Um, and then we got some cover art here. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That R.I. That's pretty decent. See, if this was going on long term, that would have been a nice, nice little collection to build up. So, there we go. Transformers Beast Wars. Had a good run. Got it ended. But um, it was good while it last. And let's see if it gets picked up with whoever picks up the Transformers in the future. And I have no idea who that is. So, anyway... Thank you for watching. I really appreciate you and all your support. And if you haven't, please subscribe. If you have, thank you already. And make sure you look after yourself. Very important. And as always, embrace the geekiness. Take care. Goodbye.